You're like the fashion dad, and I'm like the fashion baby. <laughs> no, you're the teen dad. You had me at 12. I literally like. Okay, fine. Bye. No, fashion cousin. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Good night, world. That was great. As I'm sure everyone knows, it's New York Fashion Week. I've just launched youtube.com slash fashion. So I thought to celebrate, I should sit down with my favorite accidental fashion icon, Emma Chamberlain, and give her my top Fashion Week tips. I need it. <laughs> Gorgeous and stylish. She's wearing a Lycra top. She's got a belt made out of a shoelace. Jeans, I don't think I've ever seen the inside of a washer dryer. <laughs> Purposely like and this. And everyone still thinks she's stylish. I'm so, I need to learn because like, I don't know how to act. Like, I feel like I've already messed up. I don't know what I've messed up on. You don't know how to act in a fashion situation or just in general? Oh my God. Wait, such a good point. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually evil. Because this is really only about fashion week. Oh. First tip, how to meet people at a fashion party. We'll dive deep in a minute, but quickly just introduce yourself to me. Hi, my name's Emma. So nice to meet <laughs> Get your <laughs> together. Okay, let's go, okay. Hi. I'm Emma, nice to meet you. Wrong! Ah! Oh. Hi, are you famous? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you, what's your name? This is so wrong, you are so lucky to have me in your life. What am I doing, okay, wait. Okay. I'm gonna introduce myself to you. Okay, okay. Derek, it's so lovely to see you. Oh, it's so lovely, oh! Fashion people mm -hmm. are very sensitive. Right. If you've met someone and you forgot, Right. They will hate you forever. I know. So never, ever, ever, right. not even if this person was just born and you know it would have been physically impossible, right. just got out of jail and you know you've never visited them in jail, right. you still say, it's so lovely to see you. That's just saying that it's nice to see them. It doesn't mean you've seen them before. It's not a lie. It's not a lie, but it's also not the truth, but it's also like, could be the truth. Well, it may be a lie if it's like literally not nice to see them. Right. We try again. Being so, yeah, okay, you wait, try, should you, I like you do be, that? Okay. Do it right this time. Okay, wait, hold on. Hi, Emma, so nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Tip two. Oh. Always look busy. At a fashion show. Okay. In the elevator. Oh yeah. Walking down the street. Right. At a restaurant. Right. At a party. Right. In general cocktail conversation. Right. When ordering your coffee. Right. When taking the subway. Right. When talking to someone. Right. When talking to no one. Right. When checking in with your parents. Oh, right. Always really busy. But how are you, like how are the kids? For me who has a writer background, mm -hmm. I am often approving text, mm -hmm. looking at layouts. Mm -hmm. What I'm not doing. Is just sitting like. Yes. Okay, so this is more of like an avoiding contact with people that you don't want to talk to. It's, it's. It's streamlining your life to getting maximum information in okay. the minimal amount of time. I love that. Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> Decline. I went to my first New York Fashion Week kind of like party last night. Soiree. And I definitely didn't look busy enough. I feel like it looked kind of like, I was like trying to like dance a little bit, but then I was like. Was there music? Yeah, okay. but like I only knew some of the songs and then I was like, uh, and then if it wasn't a song I knew, I was like, I was like. <laughs> you were just mm. shimmy? I would, yeah, like, you know, and then, but then, <laughs> you yeah. You always shimmy. When in always doubt, just shimmy. shimmy it out. <laughs> or jazz hands too, I'm kind of flexible. Ready for another tip? Yes. How to pose for pictures. Yeah, I need this. We were in Paris earlier this year, took you to a fancy party. You refused to take a selfie with me, <laughs> Haley Baldwin and Bella Hadid, and then after the party, I asked what pictures you got, and you got two. What were they? I kicked over a candle, and so I took a photo of the candle that I kicked over, and then I took a picture with the mini hamburger. Yeah, I went to Paris, and all I got was a picture of a miniature hamburger and a broken candle. Right, for me, posing for photo is harder than a math test. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding, I literally cannot do it. Like, when I'm posing for my friends, I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, <laughs> but then when it's like comes to like a bunch of cameras, I'm like. Okay, so my advice to you is to have three okay. ready-made poses okay. that you can tap into. First one okay. is I'm so happy to be. Okay, so pose number two okay. is that I'm like really busy, but I'm like here for work. Right. Thank you for having me, but I've got to go soon. Do you know smizing? No smiling in my mouth? No smiling in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> that like took 
like me mesmerized and I like use my own hand. I don't know what happened. Trying to teach Emma how to smile. Smile! 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 Yeah! And your third pose, which I know you know very well, is like high drama fashion, like grunge, right. miserable, right. get Maybe her life. out of here. Quite possibly the most important fashion week tip is stay healthy. I like that because I, I have been doing that, I think. I woke up at 6 a.m. to work out today. Ooh, I like, said stay healthy, not stay insane. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Do you take anything for immunity boosting? Yes. I'm gonna probably say no way. Yeah, Jose. no. Doesn't happen. I took like vitamins for like a week. One whole week. Like you take them like maybe twice Once. and then you're like, oh my God. 2020, glowing yes. skin. Oop, <laughs> vitamins. Why am I so effing tired? Word. Anyway. So I don't need to be intimidated by the size of these vitamins. I'm good at this. I've been taking like You've had large um, Advil since I was young. I'll grace you. Did you just do all six of those in one go? <laughs> yes. You're an animal. <laughs> that was insane. That was like the most insane thing I've ever My seen. My throat literally went. <laughs> I'll take another six. Look Test how me. Look vitamins that was. She's a savage. <laughs> Have you ever seen Anna Winter, editor in chief of Vogue magazine? Well, I mean, I know who Anna Winter is. All right, calm down. I mean, I know who it is. I Googled this stuff before <laughs> I came to fashion. <laughs> Have you ever seen her sit at a fashion show? Anna Winter has a very specific way of sitting at a fashion okay. show. Okay. She basically twists her legs like two. Wait, Twizzlers. can I try it already? Yeah, yeah. You're like, natural. Like, I am you. You're a natural. Wait, this is like, I love this. Wait, does she actually do this? This is when she really likes the show, she goes like this. <laughs> Maybe that's when she really hates the show. When she hates the show, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> You're so little, like, you could really be just. No, right? Like, I could, like, really. I can do this. Look at this. <laughs> yes, 100%. Put <laughs> me at the window, back to class. <laughs> Recess is over. <laughs> oh my god. Look, do you want to learn how to sit? Do you want to learn how to sit at a fashion show? Now, apply the Anna Winter School of Sitting to your monster sit. So imagine this is a long line of seats right. at a very exclusive, prestigious fashion show. Right. I want you to apply a lot of the learnings we've already discussed today. Number one, looking busy, right. smiling with your eyes, and sitting like a lady. <laughs> Have you ever seen Anna Winter sit at a fashion show? <laughs> Can someone take a picture? This is really uncomfortable. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Another tip is to make sure you know who everyone is in this industry and to do your homework. I have put together some flashcards for quick review who's who oh in fashion. I'm so excited. Wait, I love this. It reminds me of school. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. That is who's this? Winter. <laughs> she is the editor in chief of she. Okay. Oh my God. Bay. Donatella Versace. Look, you've got I'm this. I'm good at this. Do um, you know who this is? That's Pharrell. I mean, not Pharrell, right? Yes, that is Pharrell. Good. Do you know Pharrell is the first designer to do a menswear collection for Chanel? Is that true? In addition to like all that other music stuff I didn't that know he, he designed. That is Bella. Bella's sister is? Gigi. Her mother is? Yolanda. Oh my God. I'm good at You're this. You're like an A plus student. I know. <laughs> do you know who this is? Do I know who that is? <laughs> That's Timothy Shelby. Yes. I really love it. They've like, got this out. <laughs> Shall we move on? <laughs> Can we please? I, why am I like embarrassed? Like, because I'm like thinking about like, if he were to see it, like, how would I want to look? And then I'm just doing what I just did. Cut this all out. Just kidding. <laughs> Make me look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is that Lizzo? That's Lizzo. Oh, I love that woman. Lizzo is wearing a Marc Jacobs custom cape to she the Met Gala. She so queen. And she it? actually wore this jacket to the Delta Terminal at JFK the day after the Met. Look it up, it's good. Oh my God, I saw that Roll on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I thought that was my dad for a second. <laughs> this is Loïc Prejant, okay. a French documentary filmmaker who has a new channel on YouTube that's super awesome. Is that Doris Day? Close, but no. She founded one of the most important French fashion houses. Is that Coco Chanel? Coco Chanel! Oh my God. Olsen twins. Do you know which is which? Ashley Mary Kate. 
You had a 50-50 chance. And I f***ed it up. And you got it wrong. <laughs> Rosie. Oh my god, okay. Rosie. I, I don't know her name. I know, I've seen her face though. Rosie, I just sneezed Rosie. her name. Rosie! It's Derek! It's the most important man in fashion! He created hot couture! Follow-up question for this picture. How you look really good in that picture. How much longer do you think I can use this picture? <laughs> it's like 20 years old. Wait, is it really? It's not that old, but I think the jig is up. Like, no, I think no, you can use it. Well done. Yes. I would say A minus. Oh. A minus? That's like totally cool A with minus. Me. Oh, you're fine with That's that. That's like a okay, great good. grade. Did you like my pillow? I love this pillow. You know I have a collection of embroidered pillows. I know. That's like one of the best collection ideas I've ever heard of. So, fun fact, in 2009, I wrote a book, Classy, Exceptional Advice for the Extremely Modern Lady. Okay. Which I'm sure you've read. Okay, I'm duh, sure duh, you I read a lot. Stand. I read every night. And one of the most valuable pieces of advice I gave to okay. young girls was the importance of writing a thank you note. Always write a thank you note. Always express gratitude. Okay. The idea of being mean is very 90s. Right. Like here, we're very happy to work in fashion. We're happy to have everyone around. 100%. We're very appreciative of everyone's time mm -hmm. and effort. So if you saw a show that you really liked, okay. note to the designer. Dear Tom, I'm ditching the cursive after That's this point. Dear Tom. The show was absolutely You're not using to put any in there. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, fine. The show was absolutely breathtaking. The shoes will be in my closet by tomorrow. That doesn't make sense. Like, my shoes will literally be in my closet. Like, and the shoes will be added to my wardrobe. Maybe the shoes will be in my dreams. The shoes will be in my dreams. Oh, that's so good. The shoes will be in my dreams. And so will you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting a love letter and like thank you now. <laughs> like confused and the okay, whatever. And then Well if you do them right, it's the Should same. I say like sincerely or should I say like or should I be like heart? Like do like a little draw a little heart because like I'm a quirky teen, you know? I think maybe you should say Love you, comma, Emma. Or like eternally yours. Oh, come on. Fondly. Oh, I like that. Fondly. 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 <laughs> Fondly. Emma. Anyway, I just said Emma literally will give me nightmares. It literally <sighs> just made like, me get like a cold sweat on my back. Anyway. Last tip! Yes! Do you know what an Irish exit is? No. Do you know what an Irish exit is? I'm Irish. Oh no. Do you think this is I'm culturally I'm offended. Insensitive? I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> we may need to do some background on why it's called an Irish exit. An Irish exit, or Plena Houdini, is when you leave without saying goodbye. Oh my god, I'm really good at that. Sometimes I just get too anxious and I'm like, there's too many people to say goodbye to. I'd rather say goodbye to nobody than have to go say goodbye to everybody and then forget one person and then them feel like left out. I also don't know really what the point is of saying goodbye because traditionally when you're saying goodbye, if someone likes you, they will be disappointed when you're leaving. Right. So you're basically ushering in a momentary wave of disappointment right. to the party host. I would almost prefer if I was hosting a party if somebody just left because... I don't want to know, like... I don't want to know that you're leaving. I want to think you're still here, like, in the bathroom somewhere, like, pooping. Wow. It's a wow. vibe. The advanced version of this tip, when you want to leave a party, but you don't want anyone to know when you've left, okay. what you should do is you go up to the host of the party and you say, I'm having so much fun, I'm having so much fun, I'm, having, I'm never going to leave. And then you leave immediately, because then they'll say, like, oh, I just saw them, of course they didn't leave. The student has surpassed the teacher. <laughs> so I've given you so many super important, super valuable, life enriching tips on yes. Fashion Week. If you can give me one tip, okay. and that's how to end a YouTube video, I would be so appreciative. Okay, you say to your amazing viewers. Both of them. Hi guys. Oh, my mom. Hi, Hi mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, listen up mom. I want you to like, I want you to subscribe. I want you to comment. I want you to send my video to all your friends. I want you to live tweet responses to my video. Basically, this is the time where you plug yourself as hard as you possibly can. If you want to kind of be the traditional YouTube guy, that's what you got to do. That's how you fashion me. That's how you fashion me. You know how to leave a party, right? Yeah.